Lando Norris vs Oscar Piastri is one of the most exciting things I have on my mind for 2024. I just think both of those drivers are so good and full of so much potential that I think it could turn into something amazing. But I can also see a potential rivalry heating up between those two depending on how good McLaren are. Oscar Piastri entered Formula 1 with an extreme buzz. Whether it be the controversy surrounding the whole Alpine contract incident, Oscar stepped in and I think that as soon as the opportunity arose and McLaren picked up their performance, I think that he really did make his mark. Excited to, to make my debut in, in F1 with McLaren. Um, been building up to it and, and yeah, like you said, it feels like it's been a, a long time coming now. So. Super excited to get going. I think he impressed everyone. I think his rookie season is going to be looked back on as one of the most impressive moments in the modern F1 era. And on the other hand, you have Lando Norris, who has gained a lot of experience now and is definitely one of McLaren's most loyal and, I guess, their main driver. Somebody that, of course, I think McLaren want to invest in quite heavily, want to give him a long contract, which they did, wanting to keep him around because McLaren clearly believe in his ability and that he can definitely bring a championship to that team. Yeah, a, a different, um, I was just say responsibility for, for myself. Um, I guess there's uh, me leading in some ways because I'm the more experienced driver, the more experienced guy with, with McLaren. but. Um, but that just comes with more responsibility in terms of uh, how I help the team, how I comment and, and how we go forward from here. So, But I think you now have Oscar Piastri going into his second year and I think he will be even more confident. The first season for a rookie, I've always seen it as a settling in period. You're in a different world. Whether you've come from F2 or wherever, I think the global spotlight and the global expectation is at such a higher level that I definitely think there is a period to get used to that. What amazed me about that was that Oscar Piastri handled it all so professional. Everyone talks about how mature he is, but aside from how he is in front of the cameras and to the media, for example, he seems like he's been in F1 for five or six years. I mean, he really does seem that confident and comfortable in the sport. So now, what happens when we're in his second and third and fourth year? I mean, it's just going to get even better. And I'm really confident that McLaren are going to continue to grow on their 2023 results. The appointment of Andrea Stella was, I guess, met with question marks. There were a large number of people who had never even heard his name before, and it turned out to be an excellent appointment. Yeah, it's been um, busy, intense so far, but also I would say very interesting and to some extent even enjoyable. Um, obviously, I had the uh, lack of knowing the team already, but I, in this role I needed to go into even greater level of detail, especially in the technical area, the manufacturing area, understand those areas a bit better. The way McLaren were capable of just switching everything around and suddenly turning their season around from looking, I mean seriously, like one of the worst in 2023 to one of the best, I mean it was just such a great thing to see and I think it gave a lot of people confidence in the team. I like to see those results but I also know the importance of keeping your momentum with you going into the following season and building on those results. That's where the real test lies. Now, if McLaren can produce a car which is regularly on the podium or even fighting for the odd win, assuming Red Bull, I don't know, make a mistake or they're not as quick as everyone expected, just for an example, I think the two drivers at McLaren could get real feisty. Now, I still think Lando Norris is probably the better driver. I think Lando Norris really shines during the race. I think that's something that a lot of people picked up on with Oscar Piastri is, you know, he is still a little bit inexperienced as much as it doesn't show. I think his ability to manage the race distance, I think let him down just a tiny bit. It wasn't anything terrible, but you could tell that there was a little bit of a struggle there. Whereas what I have observed with Lando Norris is that he's someone who gets better the longer the race goes on. He really is somebody who we've seen climb up the order if he didn't start in a great position. 
but he's also someone that can keep a position. So I think if Oscar Piastri can fix that aspect of his game and he can sort of emulate what Lando Norris does, and I don't know, feel a little bit more comfortable over the course of a race managing the tyres, I think things are going to get really interesting. McLaren have this sort of ability to capture the F1 fan base and have them on their side. McLaren is such a great historic team with some of the best drivers to have ever raced in the sport being their drivers. They have that history and the heritage, but they also have that current modern relatability. They still have a massive fan base, one of the biggest fan bases in F1. McLaren are a easy team to follow. I mean, everyone wants them to do well. You want them to climb, you want them to be in the fight again. Growing up, I knew McLaren as winners, people that won races. A team that was in with a shot every week. The fall was a little bit concerning, I guess, had a lot of people asking questions. And it did take a long time for them to bounce back, but they have. Back to Norris and Piastri. Being friendly and joking around, I mean, we've all heard this before. When it comes to on-track results, in a way, it is every man for themselves. And I don't think just because they get along, they're going to be super nice to each other during a tough battle. That's just not how motorsport works, especially Formula One. I think those two battling it out would be one of the most incredible things to watch. It would be so exciting and a short glimpse into the future of the sport. If I was to put my money on one of them to win the world championship, let's just say McLaren for some reason have the best package, right? I think I would put my money right now on Lando Norris. I think just because of the experience he has, especially within that team, and again, I think Piastri, he just isn't at that level yet of managing a race distance, which is, of course, the most important thing if you want to win one. But it's nothing to be upset about. All of these things come with time, and I'm sure he'll get there. When? I don't really know. But with someone like Piastri, I don't think it's going to take very long. He's very versatile, very adaptive, and I think that's what makes him so dangerous. I think these two teammates are one to watch this season and for the years to come. So give me your thoughts on Piastri versus Norris for 2024 and beyond. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribed. As always, I truly appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.